Hello, and welcome to Transistor. I'm finally getting a second LP up and running again. It's been a while. And for once, I kind of wanted a, a break from all the first-person puzzle platformers and such games that I played. I do love those types of games, and they're very fitting for an LP format. But I don't want to get too pigeonholed. So, we have Transistor. This is a game by Supergiant Games who I'm sure most people already know. They kind of got their debut with Bastion way back when, and I, I did play Bastion, I really liked it. Now this game, Transistor, I've been wanting to play for a long time as well, but I held off so that I could let's play it at some point, and I've avoided almost everything about this game. I don't even know really what kind of game it is. I know it's like, it's got some kind of like strategic combat, more so than the action of Bastion, I think? And I imagine it's about similar in the storytelling, but that's really all I know. I remember I watched like a minute or two of Total Biscuit made a video way back then, and the game just looked cool, so I didn't want to see more. So I'm going in virtually completely blind, which is kind of rare since this game made a big splash and a lot of people talked about it. Oh, and uh, I guess I should mention as well Supergiant Games are probably most famous now for their most recent game, Hades, that everyone loves, and I do want to play that at some point as well. But anyway, let's get into it, and I mean, we are into it, that's why I haven't touched anything, because this is just the game, the game is starting, there is no main menu or anything like that, at least not right now, maybe once I get a save, so there is an options menu, there's not too much to talk about regarding it, but we'll take a quick look at that at the end of this episode, so let's just get into the game and see what it's all about, and let's listen to the same voice actor that voiced the majority of Bastion. Hey, Red. We're not gonna get away with this. We can't we? keep getting away with it. We can't keep getting away with it. Come on, pull. Transistor kills today one. So, do I click? Yep. There. So... I'm playing this with mouse and keyboard, and I don't know if I should. This might be more of a uh, controller game. Bastion kind of felt like more of a controller game, but I think in Bastion you could... Oh, down. Press E. Status torn, discarded. What a night. You're still in one piece. That's all that matters. Interesting. So you can inspect things. Uh, I'm thinking just if there's aiming and stuff, the mouse will be nicer, but we'll have to see what kind of game it is. Maybe I'll switch over to gamepad. So yeah, I think in Bastion you could use the mouse to aim around the gun and stuff like that, and that was a little nicer, I thought. But yeah, so, uh, can we increase, like, the volume and stuff? No, we cannot. Oh, we can. Yeah, okay. So I can tweak this if need be. The voices do sound pretty, uh, pretty quiet, so I might change that, but yeah. We'll just see about that later on. So do I want to go here or here? Probably not this way. Yeah, I guess there's nothing. Breach and crash. But I can't use either of them right now. Yeah, alright. We'll figure something out. I, I'm sure we will. And I can't run right now. Yikes. Found us already. Yikes. They want you back, I bet. Press right click? What if I don't? Okay, I can't just ignore it. Yeah, press right click. Okay. Okay, it isn't turn based. Can't get out. Yeah, I thought this was like a turn based game. So, do we just press one? What do we do? Just avoid for a bit until he tells us what to do. Yeah, I can't click or anything. Oh, there we go. Right click. I see. So right click is just to use the ability I've selected. So what if I select breach instead? That's like a ranged attack? Respawn? What? Oh. So they keep coming back. Ooh, that does a lot of damage. Nice. I mean, if there's no, uh... Come closer. Oh. Let's go. Okay. So enemies respawn unless you collect them, I see. Switch to Breach, 
Well, I already had, because it seems just superior. I mean, it's slower, but just way more damage and range. Oh, but you can just smash this. Yeah, that does work. But Breach will just breach it in one go. Yeah. I see. Breakpoint. And you can just breach whenever. So hold on, in that case I want to go back. Maybe that thing at the start was actually something you could breach. And I just didn't know about it. Oh, we can't. Damn it. I can't, like, restart. Sure, let's do that. Yeah, this is fine. I just want to check this out. Yeah, okay, I can attack right away. I guess I just didn't try right-clicking before. So, like, can I breach this? Or crash, I guess? Sure I am. Crash and breach, yeah. And what about these? Okay, nothing. Well, it was worth a shot. I'm sure we'll get, like, a dash move or something at some point. That would be nice. Yikes. That was already. They want you back, I bet. Well, so do I. So we have to let it respawn at least once. Nice. Okay, let's go. One more dally. Yeah, I mean, so far, Breach just seems way better to me. Like, I'm never gonna want to use anything else, but we'll see. Breakpoint, press E. More of these creeps. You see? Look, don't fret, just... Oh. Oh, now it's... it is turn-based. Yeah, okay. Now it's turn-based. Recommended move, go here. So you can either play it turn-based, or... I think I vaguely remember something about that. Like, you can either play it turn-based, or you can, uh... You can just do it action-based. So now I'm like planning out my my turn. And then breach. Like over here? Or just Yeah, you know, something like that. And then press space to execute your plan. So what's the downside to doing that? Oh, you have to recharge it. I see. So now like can't I just do I guess I would want to move, like, over here. And then breach. No, no, no. Stop. Uh, rewind. You can undo as well. What? Why is it doing... Oh, I'm left-clicking. I'm just dumb. So, here. And then, like, breach there. And then just breach again. And then we execute. And they can't do anything while I'm doing that. Alright, that seems strong. 16th Street High Pass. There's level ups as well. We can just break everything if I want to. And here's our sword thing. Hey, up there. Hello, world. Hello. Look at all that. I'm looking. We're on the edge of town. A hundred blocks away. Telescope. Magnification ten times. We could just ignore it, but let's look at the town. There's the empty set. Still too close to it. We better get as far from there as possible. Yeah, it just throws you right in into the story. We don't know what happened in this hell of a night. Just have to find out over time. OVC terminal. And this guy, how much health does he have? They attack pretty slowly. I mean, it seems kind of nice to just just do it action-based instead of the uh, planning, but the planning does seem stronger in that that sense. Get closer, but hold on. Hold up, there's something back there. No! God damn it. I hope we can go back afterwards. Disposition explosive. Processes processed 77%. Flat L. Sure. We can use her. That sounds mean. Spark. Press three to use Spark. She says hello. Ooh. Her name's Lillian. 
Lillian. Lillian, what was it? Plat? Alright, I mean, th that seems good. Very fast. Let's see. Very fast and good AoE, but probably not the most damage. So we can go there, but hold on, let me go back then. Oh. Oh. Okay, so we can do that to, like, travel fast, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't make me travel faster, just... In the game world, I would travel faster. But yeah, maybe there's gonna be like a dash move or something. Or sprint. Right? OBC terminal, available forecast two. Tomorrow's forecast. Cover your tracks. The city of Cloudbank, only for you. Tomorrow is another day in Cloudbank. How would you like it? Okay. Is that like 2067? Or I guess we'll find out. Cloudbank, central authority. Show ballot, sign out. User authenticated, welcome Red. So we are just named Red. It's not just his nickname for me. Rain's not even on the ballot. Which climate is more to your liking? Is it a personality quiz? N4. What, what does it say? Is it W-O-D-W? -W? It's a weird D. Or is this like a new type of... Uh, Alphabet, not really sure. Warm, clear, light breeze, mild, scattered clouds. Uh, I'll say mild out of these. I like rain, but mild is nice. Mild and inoffensive. Yeah. I, are these actual stats from, like, players voting? That would be kind of fun. So most people prefer mild weather than warm weather. Oh, so what if I do, like, a spark here, and then 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 we execute. Oh my god. Well, that that's pretty strong, too. Spark seems very good, against these chump enemies, at least. Process terminated. Yeah, this is already pretty interesting, the, like, dynamic combat system. You don't have to play turn-based if you don't want to, you don't have to play action-based if you don't want to. I guess you could just kind of run around avoiding stuff until you get your turn-based stuff back if you really don't want to do anything. Responses logged, 16,384. Uh, is that... could that really be true? I feel like there would have been more players logging responses if that was like the total player base, right? But maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Cloud Bank Fashion Week not happening, huh? Yeah, Fashion Week's cancelled, okay. Only for you, nothing changed. Search continues for missing race driver Preston Moiley. Citizens of Goldwalk District temporarily relocated. Petition for bridge to Fairview falling short. Developing altercation at the empty, empty set. Baudelaire. Unveils new model 9 PWC. Quarterly solstice sky vote begins. I'm just gonna see how long this goes. Search continues. Okay, there we go. That's it. Cloud Bank Fashion Week. Your presence will make the 67th annual Fashion Week an unforgettable experience. So it says it's happening, but then mo more info. Three days this time. Oh, I thought he was saying it wasn't gonna happen? Three day extravaganza. We cordially invite you to our 67th annual event. Cloudbank's popular tradition will be at its most spectacular with your support. Event size, eight square blocks. Goldwalk Boulevard through Alkion Street. Featuring more than 275 local and exotic brands. Space is limited, so please reply soon so we know to expect you. See you there. RSVP required, but we can just sign out and say no, but sure, Fashion Week sounds fun. What? Ah, no! Will not attend. I think you're going to want to reschedule R. Ah, too bad. I guess I should have just signed out and not answered, then maybe we could have shown up anyway. No fashion for me. Turn. So that's the space button. I could just click it. Yeah, but then I can cancel it if I want as well. So you can play everything. Oh, I'm stuck. I think you can play this entire game with a mouse if you wanted to. 
you could just do this. So I guess that's also kind of a cool thing. Yeah, that breaks down stuff pretty pretty quick. Combat coming up. Hey, end of the plaza. It's you. It's me? Oh, it's me. Poster, come closer. Days posted 48. I'm so sorry, Red. They took your voice. Oh. I couldn't stop them. But I seem to have a voice though. We took something. Huh? Come on, just go. No, let's not go. Just. Yeah. No, this is fine. Oh. Damn. Hello. Lady here to see you. So I can just do that. Let's go. Just to spark the hell out of him. She tried to trick us. Nope, recharging, I see. Wow. Okay, that's a lot of, uh... I guess that's experience, right? Like, it's both enemies and experience if you collect them. But if you don't collect them, you lose out on the experience, maybe. Interesting. They took your voice. 80% to a level? I don't know if that's, like, 80% done with this level, or just until I level up RPG style. I guess we'll see. Can I just look at the poster again? Nope. I guess we'll figure out more. Is this red singing right now? But then why can I still grunt and stuff? This didn't used to be here. Break point. So we need to. Ah, I see. We need to do it very, very fast. So here, break point. Move here. And break point again. And then carry it out. Oh, okay. Okay. P. Moyle. Oh, that was the race driver, right? I guess he'll give us a dash move, probably? Press E. Disposition elusive. Processed 82%. Hey, Mr. Moyle. You in there? I wonder if you can just ignore it. Probably not. It's him, all right. But I can barely hear him. Jaunt. There you go, it's a dash move. And probably an attack at the same time, by the looks of it. Go where it suits you, right? And it's just wherever I click at any point, yep. So definitely think mouse and keyboard is gonna be the way to go for this game. Oh no. Boss time. Cut off our escape. Come on then, tough guy. Well, I can just keep doing this. I don't even have to use my turn. He's dead. Oh, there we go. We leveled up. Next user level. User level 2 achieved. User level 2. Access granted. New functions. Select function. Oh, wow. We have to, like, choose stuff? Details. Bounce. Function. Chain reactive. Deflective. Active slot effect. Oh, this is cool. Is it, like... The abilities that you choose not to have in your arsenal will provide you a passive bonus or something like that. Active slot effect, discharge a rec ricocheting bolt that jumps from target to target. Upgrade slot effect, add a chain reactive effect to most functions. Maybe not, maybe it's only if you equip them. Or mask, subversive concealing. Conceal the user's physical self, amplifying the next action taken. Raise the potency of most functions when backstabbing. I mean, that sounds pretty good. Like that plus plus breach or something. Like we already have the spark ability. I hardly feel like we need this one, a chain lightning thing, but maybe this is going to be really good. It depends on like how many. Oh, but this is interesting. Add a chain reactive effect to most functions. So if we have this and we upgrade it, other stuff will have a chain reactive effect. That sounds pretty good. And backstabbing, I mean, I guess backstabbing is mainly for when you 
use the plan move. You can like plan a dash with a four or whatever, the jaunt, dash past someone and then like breach them in the back and do more damage. Oh, this seems very interesting. I don't know which one I want. I guess let's try this one to begin with. I'm curious about the chain reactive effect to most functions. But then again, that doesn't increase single target. Ah! Hmm. Let's go for this. New function, bounce. We're still here. Yeah, I wonder if you can, like, respec or something, or if that's just... You have to do it in uh, future playthroughs. Look at that. So, how do I, like, do stuff? How do I change up my settings or my uh, abilities. I guess we probably can't, or maybe it's at this thing. Yeah, no idea. Okay, this one does not seem to do damage. It's only for movement, I guess? Breakpoint and access point. Okay, you're in. Ah, so here we can switch stuff around. Setup utility activated. Okay, so we have this one now. I mean, I don't feel like Crash is going to be all that useful. I guess it's it's an AoE thing, right? 9 out of 16. Maybe we can eventually just get all of them. We'll have to see. Oh, and there's like costs to them as well. So this one only costs 1, this one costs 2. So for now... Choose a function to upgrade? Wait, what? Install upgrade? Locked upgrade slot? Oh, wow, this is, this is a lot. Crash will chain to multiple nearby targets. Base damage, stun duration. Holy crap. Breach will chain to nearby targets. Spark will ricochet from its point of impact, causing a secondary impact. I mean, that sounds very good. Just even more, more AoE. Jaunt will gain a faster cooldown, but transport the user a shorter distance. Huh. So half distance, but like almost twice as fast. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder. I mean, that seems pretty good, but then hold on. If we, can we go back? Oh, no. No, no, no. I didn't want to do that. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, okay, you can you can remove the upgrade. Good. All right, so we can like select these as we want to. So like remove installed. Now we don't have that, but then we can We can't add this as a an active. How do we do that? Hmm. Ah, there we go. Install. So now we have that in the fourth slot. Let's just test this. Unused functions available. Disconnect from access point anyway. I mean, yes, just just for now. Surely I can Just one more block. I want to show you something. Surely I can go back into it, right? Oh yeah, so just to use this one. Looks promising. Maybe not for your knees. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that that seems like it would hurt. So this just bounces between targets. I mean, on its own, doesn't seem all that good. And then we can do some other stuff. We'll remove this one. So then this one allow most functions to be used during turn recovery. What does that mean? I see. So it's like after we blast through our whole turn bar, then I can't use almost any abilities, but with this one uh, socketed into one ability of my choice, like let's say I do it on Breach or something, then after I do my full move list thing, then I can still use this one while the other abilities are recovering, or something like that. This one, also I guess we should just read these, harm and disrupt nearby targets exposing vulnerabilities, Pierce targets with great force across long distances. I do like that one. Extensive and penetrating. Disruptive. Reliable. Chaotic splitting. 
launch fast, unstoppable shells that split into explosive particles. Evasive immediate, transport user to nearby location directly ahead. Yeah? So then this one would split and subdivide most functions for greater results. That sounds very interesting. Accelerate most functions, raising their range and velocity. Huh. Cause most functions to stun and disrupt targets. Wow. Seems like you can switch up a lot of stuff here. So like, if we... Oh boy. So let's, let's just put this here again. We'll just do that. And then, oh boy, I should probably like end it off and play around with this next time. I think that's probably for the best. There's a lot we can do here. I might do that uh, next time. Uh, f for now, we'll just install this and put it in just crash, I guess. I really like that you don't commit to it. You can like swap it out and do whatever you want. So yeah, it just saved. We'll just leave it here for... Uh, for this first episode. This is very interesting so far. Definitely different from what I kind of imagined. I, in hindsight, remember seeing the whole, like, either active or turn-based kind of thing. But I guess that'll be uh, expanded on even more. This upgrade system seems very cool. I like it so far. Hang in there, Red. And it does kind of uh, play off of the whole Bastion thing as well. It was kind of a similar upgrade system or something in Bastion. I can't really remember at this point. But yeah. Very promising start. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I'll take a quick look at the options menu before I uh, end it off. But I'll see you next time. So, like I said, the settings menu doesn't have too much. We do have audio sliders, which is very good. We have subtitles. That's very good. There's only full screen on or off. You cannot change your resolution or anything like that. So that's maybe a little bit of an annoying thing. You can rebind all of your controls. I don't know what instant fire means. Ah, I see. With instant fire, you just tap the button and it just uses it. You don't have to, like, select it, then right click. Yeah, that could be useful. For now, I think I'll have uh, instant fire off. Stop moving is shift. That could be useful to know. Undo planning. Hum. What? Hum a song. Tab. Flourish. Q. Okay, we have to test these. Q and tab, what do they do? Q. Nothing. I can't flourish. Tab doesn't work either. I can't hum a song. I guess we maybe uh, learn about that later on when we get our voice back or something. But yeah, then you can select a bunch of profiles as well. Oh, here we go. Here's the resolution. I didn't even realize. But yeah, so you can change the resolution. That's good. But no, like, quality settings or anything like that for the visuals. It's just resolution. And then you have a bunch of languages. I, I think this is just written. I think the uh, the voiceovers are always English, as far as I know, but maybe not. But yeah, pretty simple settings menu, but not really anything that you need for this game. This seems to run pretty well, seems to not be too demanding and all that. So, like I said, we'll leave it there. Next time, more Transistor. Bye-bye!